what it is everybody beastly gamer here welcome to the channel today i want to talk to you guys about playstation vr something that i'm really enjoying more and more as time goes on for for a long time honestly i didn't play my playstation vr and then i finally decided to, to continue and beat resident evil i've been playing games like crazy since that period of time i'm actually now enjoying thumper vr which is one of my favorite VR experiences is just, it's really hard to describe how amazing that experience is. And so I have some pretty exciting news for people in the market for virtual reality who happen to have a PlayStation. I'll drop a link in the description. The cost of PlayStation VR is finally dropping, well it already dropped on September 1st. A new bundle featuring the PlayStation VR headset and PlayStation camera will be released for $399 in the US and Canada $499. So that's $100 off. Sony's other existing bundle, which includes a virtual reality headset, camera, a pair of PlayStation Move controllers, and a copy of PlayStation VR Worlds will also see a price reduction from $499 to $449 in the US. That bundle will cost $579 in Canada. Canada always gets screwed. <laughs> Sony launched PlayStation VR last year at a price point of $399. That base package only included the headset not the required PlayStation camera, so the new bundle means an effective price drop of roughly $50 to $60. While the PlayStation camera has a $59 suggested retail price, some retailers sell it for less, and I've seen it for a lot less, uh, to be totally honest. That, that camera is actually fairly easy to find now if you go into a GameStop or a Best Buy. Uh, that's a big deal. It's more accessible. This is what's going on. PlayStation VR is winning, of course, they are dominating the VR space but they do have the least impressive technology. HTC Vive and Oculus Rift have much more amazing experiences as far as VR. Now we're starting to see HTC Vive and Oculus Rift get price drops, and if they get price drops of $350, $399, people are going to pick that over PlayStation VR if you happen to have a gaming PC or something that can run VR. So in order for Sony to maintain the lead in the virtual reality space, they've got to keep their prices accessible, keep their prices attractive to consumers, and more importantly than anything else, I think, continue to make amazing games. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you in the market for VR? Have you enjoyed it? Have you tried it? Are you one of the few who still haven't tried virtual reality? If you haven't tried virtual reality on a console or on PC, I implore you to get out and try it because it's really something special to behold. Hope you guys are having a great week. Give a thumbs up to the channel guys if you enjoyed the content and you can also support my channel at BeastlyGamer.com. Click on the Patreon link and support me there. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.